save the world, unfortunately. I think that the current trend uh, goes in a different direction, but working on uh, economic innovation within the field of culture is something that in Southern Europe is extremely present right now and no one has a, an answer. And so I think that the Sostenuto project has been very useful. I will stop here. The previous speakers <coughs> have all uh, quoted great men and women. This is very interesting. I will, I will quote Churchill in the Second World War, in the worst moment when the UK had to make a huge effort on armament. Churchill said we had we had to to have to, to manufacture weapons and armament, and so we need to make cuts in the budget of the state. No culture, nothing, just armament. And Churchill answered, but then, why are we fighting? We cannot say that Churchill was. Uh, left a uh, party, he, but he loved art and culture, and so he understood perfectly well the reason for the war. It was a confrontation between civilizations, something that we do not want to see again in Europe, because there are some people that criticize culture and present the future as a clash between civilization. This project, because it had four very important objectives, obviously it had more, but four were particularly significant. We work in the field of music, and what we were interested in about this interregional project was its title, this attempt at moving away from this uh, centralized logic and uh, this sort of mindset that sometimes goes back to before the World War. We are in Marseille and 200 kilometers from Paris. And uh, very often, uh, artists leave a city because they don't agree with local policies. And cultural companies and artistic initiatives very often just disappear. And this has been a reality for many years, and the aim of uh, the MED program and Sostenuto was a multilateral attempt at establishing one-to-one -one relationships without having to go through the filter of the multinational monopolies. So we, I think we achieved this with Sostenuto. <coughs> And we managed to go beyond corporativism because in France, the artists tend to be very artists. There's uh, associations of dancers, artists, actors, and so on. And perhaps they meet each other at certain events, social events, and so on. But it was important for us to bring all these people together to give opportunities to new artists. We have profiles of artists that are unlike the profiles that we used to have, and they don't necessarily fit into the different associations. So we have to open up cross-cutting opportunities to these people and respond to these atypical profiles. But nowadays, these are the profiles. The former type of profile is no longer valid. So we need to respond on a territorial level. And we know that the partnership is not focused only on music. We have worked with people who have nothing to do with music. 
Uh, perhaps they work in art. Perhaps they are craftsmen. Perhaps they work on art policies, local development. But we realize that we all speak the same language. Uh, Mrs. Uh, La Lumiere mentioned this earlier because when we work together, we forget about our nationalities, we forget about languages, and we understand each other perfectly. I understand my friends from Montenegro much better than I understand the civil servants in my region. So this is a question of cross-cutting relationships. Another objective that was perhaps more philosophical or perhaps more political was our anticipation of the signing of two important international treaties on cultural diversity. All of the states have signed this treaty and the European Union as well. It's not a declaration of intent. It's an international treaty that has the force of law. And then we have the Treaty of Lisbon. And whether we like it or not, this introduces an interterritorial dimension that requires an interterritorial dialogue. And this has been signed by all governments. And so that's a very, very interesting issue for a grassroots operator like myself. Another political dimension of this project that I think is interesting is that we are no longer in a false interregionality. Initially, this interregional aspect was steered by governments who understood this concept of interregionality in a very different way from the beneficiaries of this concept. Nowadays, with these projects, these intergovernmental projects, we are returning to this idea of interregionality to be able to foresee and anticipate the decisions on regional levels with a validation or not of intergovernability, but we've, uh, we've changed from top down to bottom up, which is a very important dimension for European projects. Mrs. Lalumiere mentioned this aspect too. And I'd like to thank her for what she said publicly. All of the initiatives and different efforts relating to this project should not ignore the fact that we are not only working towards uh, territorial policies, what we are trying to establish is an interaction between artists and their territories. It's very difficult to measure artistic creativity because it always appears in the place we least expect. And so, we have to ensure that the projects are not at the service of industrial sectors. In other words, uh, this capacity to reproduce cultural objects for consumption. When we talk about the culture industry, we are not always speaking the same language. I'm very interested in the cultural market but I, we uh, have to ensure that uh, this 
aspect is not ignored. I have to go faster because we need to have time for the next panel session. I think you'll agree that the most interesting thing about this project is that we've learned on the run. We have acquired certain skills, we've created certain methods and forms of relating to each other during the implementation of our activities. And despite the complexity, the European dossier doesn't give us too many details. It doesn't talk about the methodology. Yes, they gave us some guidelines. But if we want to know how to work with other people, how to organize negotiation and arbitration processes because we are not always in agreement. It's, these are things we don't find in the guidelines or in the handbook or in any book. We've had to learn and improvise how to make a negotiation system. I I think that this negotiation space has to be considered to see how things uh, actually work. I, I don't think we have finished this reflection. Another interesting point for those who have taken part in the project is that it has uh, changed our relationship to our local authorities, to small, uh, very nice associations, but uh, perhaps uh, too optimistic, not very pragmatic. Now we have become uh, experts. I mean, in the relationship with our local authorities, we are now the champions of uh, European programs. And this is a bit frightening in our cultural sector, at least in my country. We see that there is a, a certain uh, weakness in the expertise of uh, managing European projects in France. Uh, it seems that we have a huge uh, ministry of culture. We have the feeling that mm, every morning we're going to see this uh, ministry of culture disappearing now. Uh, between the minister and ourselves, there was just a submission relationship. The minister was like God. And this program forces us to become experts. And they think that our local authorities completely change their position. Uh, this is very strong with uh, other partner countries. I think that the Sustenuto project has been very positive for our local image. Concerning bureaucracy, it is an anecdote, but bureaucracy isn't only uh, European. We see how many difficulties we have suffered. Uh, bureaucracy is an obstacle. It doesn't reach the level of European institutions. It is mostly at the level of our local authorities, our pure uh, tax administration, for example. Uh, our, our administration, our local authorities suffer this bureaucracy. There is a problem of language because people do not realize uh, that we have deadlines to respect that there is a danger, a, a, a risk for one of the partners to get blocked and involved in its uh, block the other partners. And this is not clearly understood by local authorities in most cases. I think that we are more in advance or too much in advance uh, as compared to bureaucracy in France. I, well, I'm exaggerating a, a, a little, of course, but uh, I want to provoke you. But I have the feeling that bureaucracy is more towards the uh, basis, towards uh, proximity civil servants that do not want to move on. Sometimes it is a matter of position. When we understood how these programs work, 
finally we are able to get into a dialogue with Europe in an effective way, but with our national authorities or even regional or local authorities, things get very difficult. Another two points that I have very briefly, I think that Sostenuto has been able to achieve good results in the involvement of uh, external partners. We have not just had a relationship among us, a network. Some of our partners, more than other partners, we have tried to look for people outside this uh, partnership. There has been a, a, a transmission of what happened within Sostenuto towards the external uh, world. And this has been very important. This uh, per permeability where the external world does not usually happen in European projects. And I think that this has been very important, this filtering, this um, creation of small roots in the uh, world, in the external world. The general choice of theme in this project was uh, accurate. We were correct. We didn't make any mistake in choosing the subject. I think that we have chosen well, but this is not uh, necessarily positive because I don't think that uh, culture is going to save the world, unfortunately. I think that the current trend uh, goes in a different direction, but working on uh, economic innovation within the field of culture is something that in Southern Europe is extremely present right now, and no one has a, an answer. And so I think that the Sostenuto project has been very useful. I will stop here. The previous speakers <coughs> have all uh, quoted great men and women. This is very interesting. I will, I will quote Churchill in the Second World War, in the worst moment when the UK had to make a huge effort on armament, Churchill said we had we have to to have to, to manufacture weapons and armament and so we need to make cuts in the budget of the state. No culture, nothing, just armament. And Churchill answered, but then why are we fighting? We cannot say that Churchill was a left party, he, but he loved art and culture, and so he understood perfectly well the reason for the war. It was a confrontation between civilizations, something that we do not want to see again in Europe, because there are some people that criticize culture and present the future as a clash between civilizations. And I think that Sostenuto, in a modest way, uh, contributes to mitigate this clash of civilizations. Thank you very much.